So, uh, yeah, flat earth, huh? Shalom, Israel, shalom, Judah. Out there fighting for truth and righteousness with the garment of salvation and a robe of righteousness. We give thanks always and forever for the life giver and for the sacrifice. Hello. Go nuts on my nuts. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of how to look at the wrong part of the camera when you're filming yourself. <laughs> with me, the creaky blinder. <laughs> flat earth. That's the one that gets a lot of people. Yeah. Flat earth. Flat earth. Yeah, I know you said flat earth. Flat earth. I get it. You think the earth is flat. Flat earth. Say it again. Go on. I dare you. Anyway, welcome everybody to another flat earth video. Why I keep doing these is totally beyond me. It's for the views. Today, we're going to be having a look at Raz Kalev. Kalev, maybe? I'm not sure. And I promise. Flat earth. For God's sake. We get it. You think the earth is flat. Let's just get on with the video. Evolution, right? Evolution. So is that what we're doing today? We're just repeating random words like evolution and flat earth over and over again. And what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted is that I promise in this video there will be a link to this douchebag's channel down there. This is what has captured a lot of people. This evolution that has strayed people from the truth about the geography of our Earth, which is flat. Well, I'm not too sure what evolution has got to do with the Earth being flat, but I guess that if you believe one conspiracy, you believe them all. With the firmament, right? Evolution. Don't understand. But at least I guess it's nice to see that you're not straying from the proven flat Earthers formula. They want you to evolve. Right? They want you to evolve, to devolve, to devolve an evil, to evolve. But like everything else you've said so far, that doesn't make any sense at all because to evolve is to change the characteristics of a species over several generations. And to devolve means to drop to a lower level, so... To devolve an evil, to evolve. Ah, I think I see what you're doing with this now. Evolve. As in evil. So if you believe in evolution, you're evil. Am I am I getting it? I'm not sure. Evil Lucian. Evil loot. Ah see, so I was right. Evolution. Which isn't a word anyway, but <laughs> Evolute? Hmm. A curve which is the locus of the centres of curvature of another curve. Is that the evil loot you mean? Because if it is, again, it's got no relevance to what you're talking about. But I don't really know why I'm surprised. After all, you're a flat earther. <laughs> Pollute evil loot. <laughs> See why the title of this video is Word Salad? Pollute evil loot? What are we doing now? Making up rhymes? Let me join in. Pollute evil loot. I'm a flat earther and I'm wearing a boot. <laughs> dilute, evolute, evolute, dilute, evolution. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Can I get back to you? Right, dilute you with evil, with lies. I'm starting to feel like this video should have a big warning label across the screen. A bit like this. Because <laughs> it's giving me a headache. I don't know about you, but we'll bear with him. I'm sure it's going somewhere. <laughs> In deceit, there are no transitionary fossils. Sorry, there are none. Even y'all God, Darwin, right, even says in his book that there should be millions upon millions of transitionary fossils, right? Darwin? As in the capital of Australia's Northern Territory? All oh, right, you probably mean Charles Darwin, don't you? <laughs> yeah, Charles Darwin. The English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to, sci to the science of evolution. His proposition that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a foundational concept in science. Have I got the right Darwin this time? <laughs> Silly me. From a, a frog to a cat. From a dog to a dinosaur. A, f a frog to a cat? I don't think that's how evolution works. And from a dog to a dinosaur. If that was how evolution worked, wouldn't it be the other way around? From a dinosaur to a dog? 
a doggy soulless rex maybe right from a rat to a uh, <laughs> a bird you know transitionary fossils from one species to the next yeah i really don't think you're getting what evolution means because it <laughs> evolution doesn't mean a cat changes into a pigeon or a bird changes into a giraffe it doesn't quite work like that they're minute changes over a huge period of time <laughs> species will evolve to suit their needs but it takes hundreds and hundreds of years for this to be achieved. It doesn't mean one species changes into a completely different species. It just becomes a better version of the species it is. What you gonna find? That the same species from the beginning to the end has been there. All that has changed is adaptation, right? Just like you look at the human, right? All the same human, all the same carbon, Right, all the same makeup, except for a little tiny bit, which is skin color. Yeah, you're kind of right. Evolution is adaptation, so you do understand it then. Some species do become other species, but not in the way you seem to think of. Like a dog wouldn't become a cat through evolution. It just doesn't work like that. Now, the theory of evolution is basically split up into three parts. It is possible for an organism's DNA to change and mutate. The change can be either harmful, beneficial, or neutral. And after a very long period of time, the mutations can cause new species to form. But just not in the way you think. Just look this stuff up. It's so easy to find. And if you weren't a flat earther, then maybe you wouldn't call bullshit on every single piece of information you find that doesn't suit your narrative adaptation right that's what it is there is no evolution there is there's no evil looting now a part of that is true yes people are devolving yes people are evolving right getting more evil in their devo devolution you do realize that none of this makes any sense at all don't you raz because devolution yeah it is a theory it's a theory that certain species are evolving in reverse but they mean two completely different things. So you can't devolve and evolve at exactly the same time. It just wouldn't work. In the same way as a car can't go forwards and backwards at the same time. Right, as they digress, right? They ain't progressing, proceeding. They're digressing. Oh. Are you really this stupid? Digress isn't the opposite of progress. Progress means to progressively, slowly, get better over time. Digress means to slightly deviate from the topic you're talking about. So your whole video is an exercise in digression. <laughs> Devolving. Deconstructing. Devolving. Deconstructing. Tia me. <laughs> So there are no transitionary fossils. There are no evidence for evolution. But that's completely ridiculous. Saying that there's no evidence for evolution is the same as saying that there isn't any evidence of the shape of the Earth. Ah. As far as they're saying we were once dumb and now we're real smart. No comment. And you can't make me comment. But I guess if that's how evolution works, then maybe it can leave some people out. <laughs> how about those pyramids, though? Huh? Ain't got to say, say, nothing to say now, huh? Those pyramids and on every continent, but mainly everyone knows the ones in Giza, which is mentioned in Isaiah 19.19. That's a whole other video. Wait, what? Who's saying pyramids don't exist? Or that pyramids are fake? But uh, there's no such thing as evolution, man. There's no spinning glob. Excuse me? Glob? There's no spinning globe. None. Sorry, no evolution, guys. Right, got you now. Globe. Just the truth, a flat earth and a celestial spin above us. Ah, a Bob Nodell fan then, clearly. Because when Bob proved the rotation of the earth was 15 degrees per hour. A 15 degree per hour drift. As we know it to be. He too blamed it on the celestial spin above. <laughs> Another way you could prove that, uh, you know, the earth ain't flat. Pardon? Was that a slip of the tongue? The earth ain't flat. The earth ain't flat? And they're lying about everything, including, you know, landed on the moon, right? Oh, we landed on the moon. Oh, 
we land on the moon. Okay, all right. Now, one of the things I notice about all flat earthers, regardless of the size of their channel, is they all say exactly the same thing, which leads me to believe that they're all quite big fans of literature. Books like this, for example. <laughs> So let's let's take a look at this this one experiment anyone can do to prove that they are lying about how our earth is set up. Ooh, an experiment. Right in the Bible in Genesis we know that it says there are two lights. Uh, the Bible. Right? There's a sun and a moon, two lights. Hmm. Evolution said they ain't two lights, they're just one, the sun. <sighs> We've been through this before, the moon isn't the light. But go on. The moon is a dead rock cheese crater thing that puts out no light. That's why they stupid asses could land on the moon and it looked like a dead rock and ain't no light shining out. But every night you go outside, you see the moon shining bright with an aura around it and they even show the light on the waters and everything like that. Now, I'm no space expert and I'm not really sure where cheese comes into it. But all that is, is the sun reflecting off the moon in the same way it reflects off the earth because the sun's always there it's just not visible from where we are because earth is a globe hmm so take a light meter uh some people may know what that is if you worked in film or photography or anything like that take a light meter now at night time i want you to stand in the shadow point your light meter at the moon click so you're, you're basically getting a, a measurement of the light or the, the amplitude, right? Or even the heat, right? Of the moon in the shadow. And then I want you to step out of the shadow and then point your light meter to the moon and click. And what you're gonna find out is that in the moon's light, it's colder than in the shadow. <gasps> Moonlight is cold, which means it isn't reflecting the sun's light as we've been told for all these years. We've been lied to by evil scientism and NASA. Therefore, the Earth is flat. <laughs> it isn't though, is it? Just stop. Meaning that the moon puts out cold light, right? And in, in the daytime, the sun will be out, it's hot. So you step out of the sun's light into the shadow where it's colder. But when it's moonlight outside, you wanna step, <laughs> if you wanna be colder, you'll step in the moon's light. If you wanna be warmer, you'll step in the shadow. Right, now I don't usually do this, but I'm going to attempt to explain what exactly is going on here my own way, the way I understand it. Could be right, could be wrong. But even if it is wrong, it's not going to be anywhere near as wrong as this idiot. So basically, during the daytime, the sun is heating the earth. It can't heat shaded areas as well because they're shaded, but they do still get warm. The sun goes away, the moon appears in the sky. Well, it doesn't appear. You know what I mean. I'm oversimplifying it, maybe. And then, because the sun isn't there, the surface of the Earth gets cooled significantly. But the shaded areas can't get as cooled because they're shaded. So, therefore, shaded areas would be warmer than open areas when the moon is out. But it's got nothing to do with the light. But it doesn't have anything to do with the moon putting out cold light. Because it doesn't put out any light apart from the reflected light that the sun gives it. Okay? So two lights. So if they landed on the moon, right, and they have all this footage, how is they? How were they standing on a light source, right, and it looked like a dead crater? Anybody could do this experiment, right, and prove that the, the moon puts out cold light and the sun puts out hot light, just like Yah says. So how they land on the moon then? How they record it? Well, I'm going to go ahead and make a guess and say that they recorded it with cameras. But, <laughs> but the moon doesn't put out cold light. I just explained this. It's really, really simple. And it should even be simple enough for a flat earther to understand. But probably not. So, you know, they, they're basically they have this storyline they're trying to tell you so they can reach their goal before you find out about Yah so they can think they're going to get the victory, right? But they ain't getting the victory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, to summarize, Raz, what isn't the Earth? The Earth ain't flat. Yes. Don't forget, folks, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, so if this video is giving you a headache, two paracetamol and a lay down and you'll be golden. If it's your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications for more videos like this.
Sometimes they're better. Sometimes they're worse. What can I say? I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care, and bye-bye.